Hello everyone and welcome back to the Weekend Slice and welcome back to Evolve. Now I already posted some gameplay from the big alpha going on this weekend and I'm going to post some more gameplay right now because I'm jumping back into the game. Uh, this time I'm going to do some commentary of course but as I'm not really all that great at doing multiplayer commentary I'm gonna ask you to be forgiving in, uh, in, uh, from that point of view. Um, now, all of the previous videos were um, gameplay as uh, the medic, and just to give you guys like a quick impression, uh, I really, really, really enjoyed playing as the medic because I was surprised at the amount of things that the medic can do and the balance of all those things. Like you've got a jetpack, you've got the uh, like uh, healing gun, which works at a considerable distance, which I didn't expect and which I really, really liked. Uh, the sniper rifle was also really cool, although I'm not entirely certain whether, you know, how that really works. It, it seems to do both damage and mark a spot on the monster where if uh, the other guys in the team shoot at that exact same spot, you're going to get a, an additional bonus to the damage that the monster gets. Uh, the tranquilizer gun is also interesting, but I didn't get my sort of bearings with that as well as with the other things. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do in, uh, right now is I'm gonna jump back in as the medic, and I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to have to ask you guys to excuse the fact that the game does seem to have uh, some pretty um, extensive loading times. Uh, it's still in alpha, which means that there's still a long way to go before this game uh, is uh, done. So that might be one of the reasons. Um, but uh, I can't really... Like, I don't want to do editing on these videos just to skip over the loading times. I'm going to talk over the loading times and uh, say more, a little bit more about what I liked and didn't like about the game. What I didn't like about the game is the fact that this is probably what my... Uh, fifth match, sixth match in total, and um, I'm still on uh, the map called The Dam. I got to play another map just once in uh, video number four, and that match was really, really brief. Uh, the other thing that I didn't really expect was the fact that while the maps are quite big, depending on how things go into go, uh, go um, in, in the match, you know, how the players, you know, manage the match. The match can be really, really short, or it can actually seem to be pretty, a bit longer, but it's not that long. Like, a match isn't really that long. I like that, the fact that it's not um, extensively long because it has that sort of uh, uh, possibility to jump in and quickly play the game, but I also think that if you mess it up, it, it can end up uh, being a bit too short without that much possibility to sort of correct it. But at least that was, that was my impression from, you know, just playing the game for about an hour or so in total. Um, an hour maximum, basically. Um, what else? The graphics sort of look really, really nice. I like the fact that it, it, it's very atmospheric. Um, there's wildlife. Like, the maps are really, really populated. They're not just... Like Titanfall, for example, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's AI versus, uh, it's like soldiers, it's it's the same thing, you know what I mean? It's like, you've got players, you've got AI, you've got Titans, you've got um, similar things. Yeah, sure, there's the turret or there's something or another, but it's pretty much the same sort of, visually, the same sort of thing, like in different uh, sizes or designs you know like the enemy AI, the grunts looking looking away uh, in a certain look a certain way have a certain look to them the enemy soldiers like your the other pilots look like you but it's a variation on the skin on the model for the pilots and so on and so forth here in evolve you've got like a huge variety of things on the map you've got uh, plant life, wildlife, and wildlife that is like really, really like small, airborne, huge. Um, they've got their own sort of attacks and damage styles and things, and you've got to take that under consideration. You also have the monster, and the monster can use all of these things, like the plant life and the wildlife, to sort of confuse players and get them, you know, like you don't know what's going on, get them turned around, get them a little bit uh, lost. 
And I really, really like the combination of all of those things because I think one of the aspects that has been missing in multiplayer games has been this sort of uh, variety in terms of the maps and uh, what's going on in the maps, right? Because you got maps, no matter how good they, they are designed and how well they look, you're pretty much doing the same thing. You're running around the map hoping to shoot down the, the enemy guy, the enemy, the bad guys. Uh, the thing is that that gets old really fast when it's... I mean, no matter what game you're playing, it's uh, Battlefield, it's... Uh, whether it's Battlefield or Call of Duty or Payday or whatever. Oh yeah, so someone else took... Uh, hey, someone else got the medic, so I'm getting... I'm playing Hank, which... I don't know what Hank is. Is Hank the support character? Because Mark up there seems to be... Okay, so Markov seems to be the assault. Uh, we've got the trapper. Hank is, I think, the support class, which was my second favorite. So yeah, we're not playing the. Well, see, that's that's one of the things that I also like. Like you've got a, a medic, a support character, a trapper, uh, who specializes in those traps and things, and you've got an assault class. But you don't have the ability to have um, two of the same class on a map at the same time, in a match. Excuse me. Which is absolutely fantastic because it just makes like everyone gets to play and is forced to play with some of the other classes, which is I think really really cool. I'm trying to mute everyone. I hope I muted myself. Actually, I think I'm. I'm I hope I'm muted. I last time I was muted. See, this is the stuff that I don't like. I mean. We have a counter here that says th 30 whatever seconds, but it's just like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. The loading screen was already long. This should have been, like that loading screen should have happened behind this character selection, skill selection thing, you know? That's just sort of my impression here. Hey Maggie, I've never seen Maggie before. I think Maggie is, what, uh, Trapper? Yep. And the, the monster is Goliath, the Goliath. And we got another loading screen, which is again, I think it's like really nice um, that you know you, we're getting to play the game in alpha. But uh, the major, like the major negative thing for me is the, the loading time. You've seen that in my first video. I didn't expect that loading time to be as long as it was. Um, anyway. And we might also get a tutorial for the... For the... What am I saying here? Sorry. Um, for my support character, because I have, I, I only, I've only played the medic, and last time when I played the medic, we had that support... Um, sort of video tutorial thing that played, uh, unexpectedly for me at least. So... There's quite a lot of good things here. They've got a really solid foundation, and I think that this could easily turn out to be a sort of like a huge thing in terms of multiplayer deathmatch style games. Because you've got the four versus one, which is absolutely, I wouldn't say unique, but it's the way it's handled here, I think it's really, really Hank clever. Class. Yeah. He provides the team with a tactical advantage. Use the shield projector on a fellow hunter to block all damage dealt to them. Support's cloak ability is the team's best tool to recover from a losing fight. Activate cloak to revive teammates or flee the fight unseen. When in combat, use the laser cutter to deal heavy damage. Gain the orbital barrage, then deploy it to rain down death from above. I like what I see, but I hope I'm able to handle all of those things. Seems like the medic was a bit simpler. I don't know. I also like the fact that they've, they, they've named the characters, like Hank. He's not just support. He's got a name. You're, you're role-playing in, in, in a certain sense. Um, 
which is interesting. So yeah, like I said, the four, the four versus one thing, which is not necessarily unique, but is really well handled here with the monster's ability to grow and evolve and mutate essentially during the match, and with the fact that your team has to work together because otherwise you're not gonna do diddly squat and um, what um, everything hey, else. Hey Maggie, when you bought Daisy, what did you think you'd be using her for? Not this. That's what I figured. Factor was a rough colony, but once I had Ruva here, no one wanted to mess with me. It's sort of nice. She probably would have spent her life barking at people. Now she gets to hunt, really be part of a pack. You can tell she likes it. Yeah, I never thought of it. Whatever else. This isn't cool. No, it is not. By the way. Up until the moment your character drops out of that ship, you've got zero control over them. That's the shield. Okay, cool. I think I played with this guy before. Graphics are fantastic, but then again, this is a uh, cry engine. But I don't know where this guy's going. Watch that big old toe! Jesus, I love this. I mean, I would play a single-player game, you know, you know, on a map that looks like this. Um, it's certainly a bit more unique-looking than... There is an albino here! Time the monster one because this because we didn't. F yeah, and I don't know how the shield works. I just didn't like. I think the orbital barrage and the shield look pretty much the same, and I didn't like that. So I'm level three because I used to I play with. Uh, medic in those uh, other matches that's interesting the sort of like the player progression isn't only for your specific uh, class it's overall nice yeah I didn't talk much because I kind of got hooked in into all everything that was going on there yeah uh, let's go with the
I'm gonna stick with the support character because support class because I want to get um, more experience with playing this. Now, of course, I'm gonna suck at playing this game because, like, I've played what uh, very little out of you know very little by just sticking with. Uh, so the monster went. Yeah, we went completely the wrong way here, and we intersected. Right. Yeah. See, this is when. Yeah. So the maps are actually quite big. That was really interesting, because we got to see a bit more of, you know, the visual style of the game. Yeah. I think we made. Oh yeah, fusion. Pl oh yes, yes, yes. Please, thank you. More maps. So that was the most disappointing thing. Uh, we didn't stick together, and we didn't. I didn't really know how to use my skills. Of course, I'm gonna suck at this game because I played as the medic for like an hour, and now I'm playing as the support class, which I've never done except enough for the previous match. That means I'm not really comfortable with everything that's going on, and I'm not really particularly talented. Let's put it that way, or you know, multiplayer oriented uh, as a as a gamer. Like always, my focus be has been on single player m most of the time, 90% of the time. Okay, waiting for players to load. Again, I don't understand why this takes so long, this part. Uh, like, we're all pretty much at the same... I don't know what that is down there. Is that a loading bar? Because we're pretty much all doing the same thing right now. Looking like we're doing the same thing. And we're waiting. And waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. There's no customization options, unfortunately. Okay, let's go. Do this. So we have to wait another t almost two minutes. Well, so if, as you can tell, like the the thing that's really really cool is. Um, when um, when you're playing the match, uh, whatever you do on the map, like before you meet the monster and the team, uh, when the, before these meet, the monster and the team meet, uh, it can take a while. But once, like everyone's together and everyone has met, it's really really quick and really really sort of um, action-packed and I, I really wish that more something could be made to make players sort of extend that period right because I think the chase is fantastic but once you get together and the fighting begins I think it's just a, over a bit too quickly and I, I don't know I think that's on purpose and right now I'm not comfortable with that because it doesn't give me a time enough time to adjust now as the medic when I already knew what I wanted to do and what I could do as like that kid specific character I you, you saw that sometimes we had the ability like I had the ability to stay behind and heal my teammates and my teammates kind of knew how to move around the, the enemy um, but I don't know like the previous match was a bit too messy for my tastes Maybe that's because, like, none of us there in the map knew exactly what was going on. You know what I mean? It's like... No one was comfortable with their characters and their choices. And we were sort of, like, bashing our heads together. Chaotically. Maggie, I have request. This should be good. I ask this on behalf of Tim. Oh, okay. Shoot. Please, bathe busy outside of ship. Um, okay. Why? That trap just smells like old man farting. 
after much cheese. Uh, I guess I'm sorry. It's nothing to apologize. Just please, we do not want to smell this anymore. Now we're tracking the monsters. These are the monsters' tracks that you're seeing here on the ground. Do we have a visual? Monsters up there? How do you get up there? Oh my god, like the noises on the map? Was the monster. Those carnivorous plants can be a real bitch and like you're stuck in one of them, you don't have any idea what to do. I think you should have the ability to sort make of a hell of a trophy. Signal sort of some way. To... Oh god. That's not good. That's not good at all. get closer to my teammates here because I'm not liking the sound of this. See now this is a match that's going on for a little bit longer and you've got the opportunity to sort of explore the map. I have to say again the graphic design here I mean yes it's Cry Engine and we know Cry Engine can look um, amazing but this is beyond that. This is the fact that they've designed this beautifully. It really looks and feels uh, just like, you know, a jungle. It feels like you're in a uh, predator or something like that, and it's kick ass. I love it. I can't comment on performance, guys, because uh, I'm not uh, like. I don't have that uh, the ability to sort of make that comment because I have a system that needs to be formatted and I 
have get a fresh install of the operating system. Um, Trap on the I should be able to run this at max details, 1080p no problems, and I am running it at 1080p max details, but uh, which I wasn't in the previous videos, I was uh, below, just below max. And I, there's the monster. Got a visual on the big gun. What, what? Oh no. Crap. The climbing mechanic is also interesting. There's a certain feeling of um, um, the energy, you know, like kinetic energy when your character moves. It, it, there's a kinetic design to everything. It's designed on forward motion and a sort of athleticism, uh, you know, energetic movement, not holding up in one single place. And this is not good what's happening right now because the monster is going to get probably the chance to jump to level 3 and then I think we're basically just I think the match is over at that point in time the match will be essentially over and yeah but what to drop it on. feel like a hunt now. Trap out. Also loving the jetpack movement and the size of everything. I mean look at this place. It's huge. It's not small. Because it has to have Trap enough out. room to allow the monster to move in. Uh, these Trap rooms and such. But it also gives like this feeling of, Trap on the ground. you know, something alien. Ah. You're not exactly comfortable with everything. Trap on the ground. Trap on the ground. What is it in here? Stay back up. No, no, no. Oh god, oh god. Oh 
Oh god, yeah. Oh god, oh god, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I have to get out of here. Definitely not good. Okay, guys. Uh, this was it for this video. So, um, see you on the next one. Stay close to WeekendSlice.com, the Twitter feed. And uh, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to the channel and share it and like this video, please. Till the next one, guys. Bye.